welcome back to my channel. So we are in a different spot. We are in, I have two bedrooms downstairs that we aren't using currently because we need to remodel down here. So if you're curious, my five-year-old and my one and three quarter year old share the room upstairs and then the baby's in our room, which you've seen which is normally where I've been filming. So I am in the smaller of the two rooms and we, my husband helped me put this table up. I couldn't do much last night because Emma, my almost two year old, was down here with us and wanting to touch everything. So I'm gonna set my filming area up. I have you on the smaller tripod. I have my full size tripod out now. My husband found my lighting kit so I'll be able to use my soft boxes. Right now, I just have the overhead light, so you can see it's not terrible in here, and the walls are white. This wall right here is brick. This wall right here is drywall. My filming is going to kind of be, like the camera is going to be a little bit further back, but most of what you will see is going to be right here. We kind of set it up that way. I'll kind of show you the room because there's a bunch of junk in here still, but I have enough area cleared off that I can have my filming set up down here, which will be nice because I've been super limited now that I have my two youngest kids during the day I've been cleared to lift from surgery. They do take naps. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two, but like with the baby, she'll kind of wake up and I have to give her a bottle and then she'll go back to sleep it's not conducive to film during the day. And I always feel bad about filming when Mike gets home from work because it cuts into family time. So having this setup down here will make it easier for me to film at night because the baby and Emma both go to bed between 6.30 and 7, which, you know, if Mike gets home between 4 and 5, it doesn't leave a lot of time. And then with the baby going to bed, I can't obviously film in the bedroom. I used to be able to when she was like, two months and under, but now that she's six months, I can't film in there anymore because the lights wake her up. So having this down here, I can come down after the kids go to bed and then I won't feel guilty about cutting into family time. Now, Mike does not care if I film when he's home. It just, I feel bad about it. It's one of those things that I grapple with. And then I have trouble filming on the weekends too for the same reason, because it cuts in to time and then all of my kids are like mommy's girls so even my five-year-old if i'm in the bedroom she wants to come in and then my two-year-old almost two-year-old wants is you know calling for me and wanting to come in it's just a this will be easier so that was a very long-winded intro but if you want to sit and hang out with me i will show you the room the baby's here with me my Emma, my two-year-old, is with Mike. They're running some errands, and he's got to fix some stuff for his dad. So they're doing that. So, yeah, if you want to sit and hang out with me, keep on watching. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, I appreciate you being here. And, yeah, let's try and set this up. Okay, so this is the room. And as you can see, there's still, you know, we took down Emma's crib. She's currently in a toddler bed. She's been climbing out of the crib, using the crib to climb on the dresser in their room. So she's in the toddler bed, but you can see we have a dresser in here. That's, I don't even know what, the stuff in that brown bag is like Halloween. I have my wax melts down here because I do have warmer behind me. That's one of those like squishy giant love sack thingies. Extra mattress set. We, we own like several beds. So when the kids get bigger, our other microwave, like that stuff piled over there. Most of that is just old pots and pans, paperwork from upstairs, the old microwave. These two boxes have stuff in it potentially for the background. So you can see I have my big tripod set up. I got smart and I have some tape on the floor so that, because occasionally I will need to move that depending on what I'm filming. That way I know where center is. But we set up my table and my chair that I was using before, this dresser. Mike's uncle passed away and we inherited a lot of his furniture. So like there's, don't judge me, but like the downstairs is wrecked. This is why the kids aren't down here because that's all like kid stuff. We got his treadmill. That's an old couch of his uncle's. That's a 
We had it cleaned up better and then we had to bring stuff in. It was a whole thing. But anyways, this dresser is really nice and Mike thought it would look good in the background, which I think it does. I agree with him. I like the color and it's got like fake. This might be real marble or granite. It's kind of heavy. So I've got, I used to just do, if you remember when I had my setup like two plus years ago, it was mostly Nightmare Before Christmas. I decided I want to have a combination of like horror and Nightmare Before Christmas because I do enjoy both. And then I have the stool for extra stuff. So yeah, let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, so you've been able to kind of see, and then I marked, there's pencil right here. So when I'm using the main tripod and looking obviously over here, this is where the frame stops. So I know, and obviously I can hang stuff over here, but I'll know like, if it's too far, you're only going to see like the end of it. So we tried to kind of map out like where the height and the side stopped. So I would have an idea, but this, my mom got me last October. I think Sensi was doing, she got it on sale. She did not pay like the 75 or 90 or whatever this was originally, but I brought it down because I wanted to have some sort of a light. You know how like old school YouTube used to have the candle. I figured I could turn this on and it have that glowing. I do have a candle here and this is one that my mom bought me last October and I never burned. This is old fashioned cider donut. I just got this out for height, not necessarily to burn it, but that way there's some height dimensions, but I can show you. I have my little lock, shock and barrel. I think it's supposed to be a jewelry holder. I did have to fix lock. His head had popped off when he was in the box because this stuff has been packed up for a hot minute. I fixed him yesterday and then I got out my ducks. I used to have just have my Beetlejuice because it used to just be Nightmare Before Christmas and Beetlejuice and now we're going to kind of have an eclectic mix, but I have my Beetlejuice duck. But I also have the two Lost Boys ones because the Lost Boys is one of my favorite movies. So we have Michael and David and they're huge. And then I also have Reagan from The Exorcist. So I want to have all of these out. My friend Jean sent me this one, and I think he may have sent me Reagan, too. I don't remember. I know I bought these, two, but I'm pretty sure my friend Jean, uh, who used to watch my videos, he sent me both of these. So I appreciate them, and I want to have them all out. And then I got, again, I got a bunch of horror stuff out of my closet because if you've see my horror collection video I can try and link it down below because that was a couple of years ago now all of my horror stuff was on like a couple of shelves in the closet and then I had masks hanging up I have little kids and my husband does not like horror movies so I didn't necessarily want to just have it out in the living room so my horror stuff has been in my closet but I got out some things. I don't know if I'm going to put everything out, but I have uh, from Angela from Night of the Demons. Most of the stuff has come from Fright Crate, which no longer exists. But then there's a couple of other things that I've gotten from like random mystery boxes. Like there's a Scream cutout. I love the Scream movies. I'm on the fence about the newest ones. I think they should have just stopped at four, but that's me. I've got a couple of 3D posters. So there's, I know what you did last summer. I have some artwork. I have a bunch of prints that Max Cave has done. I think that's the artist. So I brought down the Hellraiser one because so I love the Hellraiser movies. And then I have a few things that are signed, but I didn't bring them all down. I think I just brought two. I did bring the Lost Boys one. I'm not sure how much room I'm going to have. I can get, I have more signed pictures and then this is signed by the the gentleman that played Michael Myers in the original movie he's he was a stuntman I would have to look it up to see but yeah he played Michael Myers so I have that signed and then I have this other 3d poster from Dead Alive so you can see they're kind of raised a little bit I brought those down and then I brought 
I have the Jason X mask, and then this is supposed to be a more original, probably from like Jason Takes Manhattan or something, because that's definitely not the first um, two or three movies. And then I brought, I don't know, I have, this is from The Lost Boys. I got a few more busts. I brought down my werewolf, uh, the Crypt Keeper. Again, these are all Fright Crate. I do have another horror subscription that's coming. It is an, a seasonal one, so I'll get it four times a year. The, the box should be shipping sometime this month. I brought down one of my, my Cenobite to go kind of with the Hellraiser thing. And then I do like the Trick or Treat. So I have the Trick or Treat Snow Globe, but then I also have Sam. And then the Halloween movies are one of my favorite Halloween and Scream. And then I like obviously the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I have the Gill Man from Monster Squad and then my Michael Myers I brought in. I have a bunch of these. Again, I'll link that horror collection video. Got a couple of patches that I forgot I had. There's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And then again, the creature. I figured I could hang them. My vest that has my patches and buttons is pretty full like I couldn't put another patch on that vest if I wanted to and I would let I need to look on Amazon and see how expensive they are I'd like to get one of those stands that you like people use when they're sewing to put clothes on and then have my vest kind of over here I think that would be cool if I could find one of those like clothing where it's like the half the mannequin like just torso to put my vest on because I don't wear it because it's heavy um, I wasn't sure if I was going to find my lighting kit, so I did bring my ring light that used to be on my, that was on my desk and power cord, but my husband found my lighting kit. He knew where it was, thankfully, so, and Amelia is talking in the background. So, this is the horror stuff. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use it all, and I have a towel because I get sweaty because I'm still obviously overweight. This is all the weight that I gained from Emma. I've lost the weight from having Amelia. But I never lost the weight from having Emma. So I'm still struggling with that. It was definitely a hormone thing. So I've been on like hormone supplements. And my cortisol levels were too high. Which that can affect weight loss. Um, so I've been taking cortisol pills. Trying to get that situated. I've lost a little bit. But clearly not thin like I was before. Not that that matters. But... I can't wear a lot of my horror t-shirts because I stopped getting men's larges and started getting men's mediums because my husband was griping that my clothes were too big. Well, I can't wear a medium right now. I couldn't get a medium. I could get a medium on, but nobody wants to see that. I lost enough that I can wear a large. They're just a little bit tight. So we're making progress because I do have a fair amount of horror shirts in large. But like I said, I with the Fright Crates, you used to get a shirt every month. And I stopped getting large and started getting medium. So I have a lot that are men's medium. And all of my long sleeve horror shirts are all men's medium. So, but I have these masks too. I have lock. Mike bought me these because I've been wanting these forever. I'm really hooked on. Lock, shock, and barrel. So I want to hang these up also. Yeah. And then, I don't know what's in here. These are hooks for my tree. What do we have here? What is this? Oh, that's like a piece of the blind. Okay, I have this Nightmare Before Christmas tree. And then I did get sent this also from a subscriber friend of mine so that's very cool it's a little beetlejuice ornament to go on my nightmare before christmas tree oh i was like what is this my daughter painted i'm gonna take that off for just a second it's kind of heavy i may it's one of those like ceramic paint your own thingies They do. I had to string 
This tree was like pre-lit, but the lights that were built in don't work. So I put one of those like battery operated strands around it. And then I'm pretty sure I let my daughter help me decorate this, which is why the ornaments are all kind of jumbled. But it's one of those where it's got the little like ornaments that are attached to these back here. And then, yeah, the battery pack for the tree will hide. And then this is the battery pack for the like secondary strand, we'll call it. I'm gonna put this maybe here. I think I can reach it. I don't know if how much in frame that will be. And then I'm gonna put that out later. But this I did have hanging on here, kind of like that. I do have a tree skirt for it. My parents bought me the tree for Christmas and then my mom found, I think they go to the Hallmark store up in Phoenix a lot. So they found me the actual tree skirt. I don't think it's the one that's supposed to go with this tree, but Hallmark sells like miniature stuff. So it's just a miniature skirt. It's very like stiff fabric. I remember having an issue kind of with this before, but We'll put it like that and then I should be able to set stuff on it, maybe. I think I just set it on it because yeah, it's very kind of stiff. So I'll just put it like that because I, if I have it, it's actually the right circumference for a stool so we'll just put that there and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna put next to it I did bring some thumbtacks down and then I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna put my lock shock and barrel there and then I have some other nightmare before Christmas stuff I got these from hot topic that's a little beetle juice. I've got, it's the, the door. So there's the Halloween and the tree. So let's see here. Let's do it like that. And then I can kind of manipulate the branches. I don't know. I'm going to have to fiddle. I'll have to put the camera back on the tripod at some point and kind of see what's in frame. I'm going to help her. Okay, I got her a bottle and I think that's, the only other thing is my Hot Topic eyeshadow palette. We can maybe poke there. Like I said, I'm not committing to that, but I think I got the tree set up and I'll, again, I'll have to see what I can see in frame. Oh goodness. Did get her a bottle. Um, and then again, these are just leftover. Leftover Christmas, what am I trying to say? Hooks, ornament hooks, goodness. And then I propped a couple of my daughter's old stuffed animals in a couch pillow so that I could, cause you won't see that stuff poked in down there. This is for outside. My parents again got this for me last October, but we didn't really put stuff out cause I, both of Emma and Amelia are a year apart. And they were both born in October. So I haven't really decorated for Halloween in two years. So I figured I would put it out here and then come October, if I want to put it out in the yard, I can, but it's one of those things, it's nice. And then it's not going to get like sun bleached or weathered or anything weird. Yeah. Are you talking? She's very 
chatty compared to Emma. You gonna say hello? Yeah. Oh, I know. So her name is Amelia, if you are new, and we call her Squeaks because she was a C-section baby and she was super squeaky. Like, she sounded squeaky for a good while. She still kind of has a squeaky cry, as you can hear, but she's losing interest, so may have to pick this up later, but okay. So I'll show you the desk in a minute because I actually made some progress. I think it's good. I found these really cute cups again that my mom got last year you can see the frankenstein one and they've got the little like keep warm lid and then where where are we at where's it there we go it's a little mummy with a bow and then the, i had like some clear mason jars and i found those and i was like those will be perfect because again it's going to give me some height and they're cute and they're spooky so if they're visible it's not a big deal but there was already a hook so I hung lock and then you can kind of see he's not going to be 100% in the frame, but I'm hoping enough of him is visible. If not, I'll move him down a scotch, but I was thinking I can kind of cluster these over in here. I wanted these lock, shock and barrel masks forever. They're expensive. And they're just plastic. So it was one of those. I think Mike got them for me for my birthday one year, um, which was really nice. And again, it's one of those. I want to say how much, because we got them, um, I think from the spirit store. I want to say. They were like 15 a piece or something like that, which they're very, like I said, they're plastic. And it's not even like the most good quality plastic. <laughs> so it was, that's why I never bought them myself. Cause it was one of those things I wanted them, but it was super annoying. And I may end up just using a thumbtack so that I can, she was good the whole time. And the second I turned the camera on and start talking, I may bring him down so that he's more in frame. Because that hook, you won't even see it. So let's see. Let's and I'm just using thumbtacks, which is why I wanted to be against this wall. Because the wall that I showed you over here is brick. So obviously there aren't any thumbtacks that are going in there. And then, like this house wasn't sealed well, like not that there's water dripping, but like moisture. This wall I don't think is as bad. The bigger room, because my oldest daughter when she lived here was in that room, we couldn't even get command strips to stick to it because her brick wall is up. This is a like partially buried basement. So those brick walls were like next to the dirt and they would get like moisture on them if that makes sense. So we couldn't, we had, she couldn't really hang anything on like three of her walls unless we wanted to like drill into the brick, which Mike didn't always want to do because you're committing to that hole. You can't just fill in brick like you can drywall so I knew I wanted to be up against this wall just for the sake of I know she's complaining again being able to put a thumbtack okay so the baby was getting a little bit crabby but you can probably hear her upstairs she is teething her two top teeth are coming in but you can see looks pretty good I'm happy with this I think this will look good again I'll have to position my camera on the big tripod so I can see, but I think this is pretty good. I'm happy with how that turned so out. So I will end this here just cause again, she's being crabby, but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.